Classic. And we're officially back here on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The game that a lot of people credit as being the last fun Call of Duty. You can actually go up here. I don't know if you guys remember that. On this map. Oh, I was shot it. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up, right? I don't want to hear about it. I want to hear shit from you guys, all right? Oh, give me that angle. Oh. Got to manually here. Heal. Oh, my God. How many hits? Storm. Oh, nice. Oh, me trying to be a good teammate. Let's call this in. There you go. Right, I forgot how to speed it up. Oh, that's a nice shot, dude. Oh, my God. I love this gun. Yeah, we're gonna it. Oh, my God. I'm wildin'. I'm bugging right now. Get that out of there. Come on, come on, teammates. Hold it down. Hold it down, guys. Hold it down. You got me. I got you. The hell? I thought it was my teammate. Oh, come on. Got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. I'll take one. I'll take one. That's all right. I, I wish I, I could have more there. Jeez. Yo, are you are you kidding me? 45. And, all right. I'm the one leading the charge here, guys. The one who hasn't played this game in, in months. When this game was in its life cycle, the reserve system or the uh, black market shop, it was definitely one of the worst that we've ever seen. It was just one of the most like money hungry things. Um, basically, the the game just wanted to take as much as your money as it could. I mean, we're still we're still kind of in that place, sadly, with especially now with Modern Warfare Three. But at the time uh, when it was like in its current life cycle, I mean, this was pretty bad. Uh, thankfully, now it's in a much better place and a much more reasonable place. I mean, taking a look at a bunch of these things, I mean, thankfully I was able to unlock and own a bunch of these items. There's still a few here that I'm looking at that I never got a chance to, to use. This is always one I was hunting for. I really, I just really liked the way this uh, Mastercraft looked and it had a great inspect as well. Um, but overall, I got I got all the, the ones that I really enjoyed using. I got those. And then over time, they added like duplicate protected crate, pick a weapon bribe, which is great. Uh, they actually they actually added like the five plus five no dupe crates, which is a, a wonderful deal. Now, this is pretty interesting. I didn't even realize I had this much. Holy shit, man. 191 cases and then 22 crates. Uh, let me know if one day you guys want me to open up like do a video where I open up all these all these boxes to see if we can unlock the items that I that I need the ones that are left. Oh, behind me or was that a teammate come on give me a break here give me a break here guys no not not no thanks that shot corner Oh. What are what is going on? Right. 
28, 29. I tried, bro. I was trying that game. That was cool. That was fun. These lobbies are sweaty. I don't remember them being this uh, this sweaty before. This was one of like maybe two or three Call of Duties that I've uh, that I've played in my entirety of playing Call of Duty that I actually reached the max level of 1,000. I think I did it during Call of Duty Ghost. I did it during Ghost twice. And I did it, I think I did it during Modern Warfare 3, the old, old Modern Warfare 3, uh, and then BO4. My personal favorite operator in the game was Ruined. Um, this was the operator that I used the most. I think it's the best operator for somebody who likes to run and gun. My second most used operator, I would probably have to say is Reaper. And an operator that I really enjoyed using a lot as well is Spectre. Actually, in uh, Black Ops 3, Spectre, the Spectre character came from BO3. Uh, this operator was the one that I used almost i would say like 98 percent of the time in black ops 3 this is the operator that i use you could tell a lot about a player based on what operator they use for example if they use crash you know that they're just trying to go for streaks because they get that assault pack probably sweaty ass players just going for streaks trying to ruin the match for the uh opposite team um zero you're probably a solo player because you, you know zero is like the only way that you could defend yourself against streaks i typically found that decent players like players that were they weren't the best but they were decent players they use usually often they would utilize profit and then for whatever reason and i i mean no offense even though it's gonna sound offensive i always found that it was like the bots like heavy heavy ass bots in this game like really bad poor players they would always utilize this like this guy just for the the razor wire in the barricade I should I should have known I should have like just knew right away like that guy was gonna try to flank around through the window as soon as I saw him run away like that more he was up there the whole time wow I always felt like this gun was just unfair. It's too good. It's too good, bro. No, I thought it was multiples there. Oh, man, I thought it was multiples. You could actually go up here. I don't know if you guys remember that. On this map oh i was shot it shut up <laughs> you shut up right i don't want to hear about it. i want to hear shit from you guys all right i gotta stay up there bro yeah that works out dude it's okay i want to get that barbed wire out of, out of there uh 21 we'll take that this Call of Duty actually holds a really special place in my heart. Um, this was the first Call of Duty where I started to see like incredible growth on the channel. Um, I uploaded a video on the first day that this game came out and it was like a first day beginner tips and tricks. And I think till this day, it's my most viewed video uh, on the channel with like almost at 400,000 views, which is in insane. I started to get a lot of recognition as a Call of Duty content creator and as a just a gamer, Call of Duty gamer. Like I got a lot of recognition with this game um so it holds a special place in my heart my personal opinion this was an extremely fun call of duty i loved every second of me playing this game great maps great dlc great weapons uh, great content throughout throughout its life cycle in my personal opinion but yeah man i, I love this i love this game all right well ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for checking out today's video coming back to call of duty black ops 4 in 2024 let me know what your thoughts were on this call of duty let me know if you guys still play this game i know a lot of people still do and let me know if you guys played blackout that was something i was never a br guy but i did play blackout a little bit not not like often but you know every once in a while i would jump into blackout it just wasn't my cup of tea i'm not really the battle royale guy you know thinking back now that i mentioned blackout that was the start of like the whole battle royale scene for call of duty i mean this that changed everything and you can you can make the argument that without blackout 
you know there would be no war zone anyways man thank you so much for watching if you guys are brand new around here if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and drop a like on today's video it would really help out any comments questions concerns please let me know in the comment section below if you guys are thinking about getting any control freak products you can always check out their website link in the description you can use code gray at checkout i believe right now it's a, it's either a 10 or 15 percent discount off your order go check them out uh link in the description they actually just got some new mw3 products over there and warzone products go check them out if you guys are thinking about getting anything from g fuel you can use code yt gray at checkout uh they have a bunch of different flavors hydration packs tub shaker cups cans a lot of stuff over there link in the description below once again that's code yt gray and lastly if you guys are thinking about getting a new controller for playstation xbox or pc highly recommend checking out aim controllers link in the description below they have a bunch of great customization options you can use code gray at checkout or just click on the link and the discount should apply automatically make sure to give us a follow outside of youtube on our social media platforms tiktok twitter instagram snapchat links to everything in the description i'm going to call it there for me today you guys thank you so much for watching till the next one my name is Gray. Peace.